I have now uploaded an early full course on easy course on early because as we will see I have had some uh, troubles with uh, quizzes but anyway I have uploaded all videos I have created all sections for one course and we will now have a look at it and see um, how it looks like so I go to courses all courses I have um, finished uploading this full course uh, yesterday so right now as of today no sales uh, so I cannot assess of the, um, how good the platform is or, or not to sell your, uh, your, um, your courses. But let's have a look. So if we click on view course, which is what we want to do, we will see how it appears, how it displays for visitors. So this is the course. Um, it is branded by easy course because um, I, want, uh, I am on the free plan. If you uh, move to the paying plan, you can use your own custom domain and uh, remove the branding and have yours only, a kind of white label. So here you have the title of my course, the uh, text description, um, uh, who is the author. So I have 10 chapters with 27 lessons and here the course details, the course content and I, I could set up some videos for preview. So for example, this course, you can preview uh, for free and oops, Let's pause it, we don't want to hear it now. And you can uh, easily access all the free sample videos included in this course. So here you have my 10 sections, my uh, 10 chapters as they are called on easy course. And with each of them, you can see for example, this section, uh, how to visualize data with charts on uh, Excel has one video and one quiz. So that's it. And uh, you have a prize that I have set up. To set up a price, first you have to connect with at least one payment method. I have connected with both Stripe and PayPal using uh, the APIs. It was pretty simple to do it. You don't really need the... Uh, at first I thought it would be difficult uh, because I had no idea where to find these API keys. But when you just log on to your Stripe account or to your PayPal account, you have a developer, always a developer access, and this developer access doesn't mean that you will uh, code something, it just means that you can access actually this kind of keys, so that um, other tools, such as EasyCourse here, uh, can um, actually um, uh, use uh, APIs, so auto automatic programming interfaces, to access your account on uh, the other platforms, such as Stripe or PayPal in my case. You have a lot of different payment, payment methods, so to, uh, to get the money you make on the platform and uh, yeah so i set up my course as a one-time payment of 69 dollars with three uh, three different free um, preview uh, to have a look and you can of course uh, enroll and if you click on enroll now you then have um, access to a payment um, payment gateway and here oh actually uh, maybe i set up my price uh, wrong so you can actually set up two price one uh, this price that is uh, uh, that is um, the original price but you want to show a discount so you want to show that instead of this price you have this price but i inverted the uh, two prices so actually let's um, uh, let's check now uh, how to uh, change that and uh, yeah and you can uh, pay under coupon code if you got one uh, and everything so I want to go to my account, to my dashboard, and to change the prices. All I have to do is go on uh, my courses, uh, edit, edit my course, yes, please. And here go to pricing tab. On pricing tab, here I can set up the price. Oh, actually, I should have seen it here. Let's try to edit this price. It's the inverse. The strike through price should be 69 and the price should be 49. Uh, okay, I offer one day trial. Um, course expires uh, lifetime. Okay, so it's a kind of lower price and uh, to what I am selling it on other platforms, but just because I, uh, I just published it uh, yesterday, I want to see if it brings any sales or not. If it brings sales, it might be worth. Uh, maybe increasing the price and maybe continuing on this platform and if not um, then as with any platform um, simply uh, change and go where it's working for you you can also um, you have the drip option so you can actually um, make lessons uh, af uh, available after some time after enrollment so you have a lot of options to really customize your your um, 
uh, your uh, your course. So just one thing I have I am kind of missing that you cannot um, enter uh, or upload um, introduction video like an intro video on other platforms. Usually I have a short one minute uh, sales pitch video which only um, showcase very quickly what we have in the in the course. A very simple one, and here actually it's not possible to uh, to put one. Uh, anyway, you have uh, then a lot of other options. You can also set up a certificate. So we can create a certificate. Let's create a certificate. And here, certificate name, Excel 360 fine for beginners. You, we can choose the template for our certificate of completion. I like this one that doesn't look too much um, university-like, certificate of completion. That uh, student name, I successfully the course, issue that blah, 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 certificate ID, and uh, that's all. Now we can save it and enable this certificate. Okay, so here's our certificate. I'm not sure if that's it. So maybe oh, go back to our course, certificates. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so we have our, uh, our certificate. I'm surprised that that's all. If we go to my courses, the settings, certificate, ah, here. I have to select the certificate. And here we go, the certificate is set for this course. There's a lot of other options, but anyway, most importantly, I was able to upload my videos. It was pretty simple. The only thing I would say is that uh, entering the quiz, it takes a little too uh, long time, but mostly there is a tool to uh, mass um, upload uh, questions. So if I go to uh, import questions, there is a tool to import questions. I wanted to use it to import all my questions. It's more, uh, it's simpler for me to put all my questions on a CSV file and then upload uh, the questions, import the questions, and select later which ones I want to put in which quiz, then copy-pasting each um, field one by one for all my quizzes. In this specific course, I have uh, eight quizzes, if I'm not mistaken, eight or nine, anyway, a lot, uh, eight or nine quizzes of five questions each. So it uh, makes, uh, for each question, I have uh, three answers, uh, um, uh, yeah, so one title, three answers, one explanation. So it's already five copy paste per question, twenty five copy paste at least per um, uh, per quiz. So in total, it's two hundred uh, copy paste. It's quite a lot. And um, uh, I had the issue to uh, use the import uh, questions um, form. I contacted uh, uh, I contacted um, actually the support and let's see uh, what they answer. Maybe I I made a mistake in my uh, formatting. Anyway, there should be a tool to mass import questions, which is much easier when you upload quizzes, but at the moment, I'm not sure if that, uh, that is working or not. Okay, so that's it. You have a lot of options. It's pretty simple to use. Here, um, you got up, you got your course. Uh, so theoretically, you, uh, if someone buys your course, you get uh, the whole um, money, the whole amount, because you are uh, paying for the for the platform uh, and they do not take commission on the on the course. Uh, maybe this is to validate. I'm not 100% sure of what I'm saying, but it should be the case. Anyway, the um, platform is pretty simple to use. It's easy to um, upload uh, your courses. And uh, here's my, my course. So I can put the link in a um, comment of this video for you to try and have a look. Anyway, good luck and uh, try uh, easy course, the link, uh, Again, uh, is also in the description and uh, have a look for yourself. It's uh, free to use for 14 days. You will need a credit card to register, um, uh, but you can cancel in time your trial and especially cancel it before uh, starting to uh, really pay if you don't like the tool. So good luck with your uh, course creation.